I got scammed into buying a fake Yara and in today's video I am going to be giving you guys telltale signs and pointers to watch out for so that you don't end up in my shoes next time you buy a Yara perfume. However, before we get started, you guys, I just want to put out this disclaimer out here that I am not at all a Latafa or a Yara representative. And in fact, everything that I'll be saying in today's video is going to be purely research based. However, I will be using the tips that I'll be sharing in this video next time I will be purchasing my Yara. So I am pretty sure that you guys are going to be finding the tips that I'll be sharing today to be quite useful. So the first tip that I'm going to give you guys is to always watch out. Out for a sticker now you guys every Yara perfume must have a stick now whilst we're still speaking about stickers I have realized that um Yara perfumes that I have seen so far come with one of two stickers there are Yara perfumes that come with a 3d holographic sticker and by that I mean that you guys this sticker actually gives an optical illusion of moving as you will be moving in the actual box itself they are those stickers then they are stickers which are just written original which don't have a 3d moving effect so the argument that is out here you guys is that there are people who are insisting that all yara perfumes must have a 3d sticker uh, which moves as you'll be moving the box for them to be real and authentic perfumes and then there are people out here who are saying that um yara perfumes don't necessarily have to have a 3d sticker to be real and these people People's argument is that the reason why um, there is an inconsistency in Latafa stickers is because Latafa changes like packaging like here and there and it's not necessarily an indication that the perfume itself will be fake. As far as this is concerned you guys I don't really know which side to really side with and I don't really know what exactly to believe. However going forward I will be staying away from perfumes which don't have a 3D moving sticker to just be safe you guys i think it will be safer for me to just buy the perfume that nobody is arguing about and everybody is sure about and those are the perfumes with the moving stickers rather than buy like a perfume with a sticker that people are genuinely unsure about and there is argument about the third pointer that i'm going to be urging you guys to watch out for is right here at the very base um, of the perfume now i don't know if um the camera can pick it up however it is written here style from UAE I had a conversation with someone from Latafa who told me that um, they never write style from UAE um, on Yara boxes you guys so if you are in the process of purchasing this and you see it return a style from UAE just know that your perfume is a Fake. so the next thing that i am going to be watching out for you guys is for a sticker at the base of the perfume you guys i will be staying away from perfumes which do not have a sticker on their bases when i had a conversation with someone from latafa they let me know that um your perfume not having a sticker on its base is not always a telltale sign that it is necessarily fake however it's just something that i just made up my mind to do since i bought a latafa perfume without a sticker at the bottom and it turned out to be fake another thing that you can just use as a telltale sign to tell if your perfume is fake or it's it's not fake you know sometimes is the price of the perfume fake perfumes do come at cheap prices now i know that this is not always the case i know that there are um, shops out there which buy directly from the manufacturer and cut the middleman and can afford to sell um, things which are cheap to their customers however you guys sometimes your perfume being cheap or your product being cheap uh, cheaper than usual is a telltale sign that it is fake so i would watch out for that you guys another thing that i'm going to advise you guys to just watch out for is the location where you are buying your perfume just look to see if the place is dodgy or it's not dodgy sometimes you know you can really tell based on that and if you're really unsure about whether the perfume you're about to buy is real or it's not real you can always just take pictures and contact the people at Latafa and just ask them to verify if the perfume is real or it's not real in fact that's how I found out that this particular perfume was fake however it was so unfortunate that it was only after I had already bought and used the perfume myself do remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you found this information to be quite useful I will be seeing you guys in another video Bye.